Hello, it's the 10th of February today and what I'm going to show you today is uh, broccoli or calabrese. Its official name is calabrese but um, everybody else seems to call it broccoli. Um, it's very very easy to grow um, it does take quite a bit of space when you finally plant it outside so if you're limited on space maybe if you can manage just one plant that would be great um, if you do like your broccoli calabrese or your sprouting uh, greens I would suggest maybe if you grow um, sort of a purple sprouting broccoli um, because you'll get more from um, one plant than you would from this um, but you would sow them in exactly the same way now these are best started in the greenhouse in January or February they don't mind if it's a little bit cold okay you don't need to use a heated tray or a heated greenhouse or anything like that for it um, if you are going to sow them outside you can but you have to wait until sort of the end of April beginning of May because it's just not warm enough outside um, but to be honest with you you get more um, you get sort of a better germination rate if you sow them um, inside um, on a windowsill if you don't have a greenhouse just use a little three inch pot and sow a few seeds okay so you'll get a better germination rate and then you can um, move them outside when they're a bit bigger but I will show you that step when we come to it so let me just show you how to sow your broccoli in trays okay so I've just got uh, one of my little seed trays here make sure that um, you've got some drainage holes in the bottom if you don't have um, a seed tray or as I say if you're very limited on space you can always sow them in a three inch pot that's not a problem at all but just do them exactly the same way as I'm going to show you here now fill your um, your tray with uh, just plain multi-purpose compost fill it nearly to the top and then level it off and then just give it a gentle pat down okay if your uh, compost at this point is very very dry uh, and mine is what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a quick water before I sow the seeds okay you don't need to put much water in there just a little bit now wait for all of that water to soak through if your compost is really really dry you'll find that the water will sit on top for a little while before it drains through now once it's all drained through then you can uh, sow your seeds now there are apparently 50 in this packet it doesn't look like there's 50 there but these are the um, the broccoli seeds uh, in fact most brassicas so we've got cauliflowers uh, we've got kale um, we've got broccoli we've got purple sprouting all of the brassicas the seeds all look very very similar uh, they're all little balls so all we're going to do is just to take a pinch and just sprinkle them on top of the damp compost now because the compost is damp when the seeds touch it first of all they'll stick to it and they won't roll all over the place and secondly they're actually then in direct contact with something damp so they'll start to grow just a little bit quicker okay so I've sprinkled all of those on I'm expecting about 75% uh, germination with those hopefully the, uh, the variety that I've got they're called Iron Man so I, I'm most probably going to have a load of superheroes um, <laughs> growing up on my allotment. I'm sure the children will be very pleased because they're, uh, they're huge Marvel fans. I did get that right. Iron Man is Marvel. He's not DC. So once you've sown your seeds, then just cover them with a little bit more compost and just gently smooth that out. Now, these should start poking through the soil in about two to three weeks 
maybe a little longer depends what the weather's like but being February it should be uh, we will get slightly longer days so I'm hoping that they're going to come through in about three weeks now I've not watered the top of that soil because I watered the compost before I put the seeds on so um, I won't water the top now I will leave that for um, a couple of days um, and then I will um, see what the soil's like. If it's dry then I'll water it again but make sure that you just water it a little bit. You don't want to swamp your seeds just as they're growing up because they're very very delicate when, um, when your little seedlings are starting to grow and if you give them too much water then they won't like it and then they'll, they'll die. Um, you need to have the drainage holes in the bottom because if the water sits in there then the seeds will rot okay so it's very very important to have drainage holes in there so I will label those um, and then I will put them um, on the tray on a bigger tray and then I'll put a propagator lid over the top again it's just a plastic lid it's not heated um, apart from heated by the sun and as you can see the sun is coming in um, today and it's actually quite cold outside but the sun it's it's really quite warm in here at the moment um, it's very pleasant to be honest with you I don't actually think I need my scarf on but I'm not going to take that off because I'm a bit of a wimp when it comes to the cold um, so hopefully today the greenhouse will get a lovely uh, load of warmth in it um, and it will help um, all the seeds that are in here and all the plants that are in here to start growing well if you do find that you've only have a little bit of space or you only want to grow one or two please feel free to go and buy a small plant um, you don't have to sow everything from seed like I do uh, but I'm just showing you you how to do it but if you do buy a small um, sort of a, a small plant of, uh, of one of the brassicas they most probably won't be in the garden center until March April time okay um, so um, you can go and have a look and see what you can find but there's all sorts out there um, if you want to to sow them from seed or if if not well I hope you do give broccoli or calabrese a go um, it's a lovely vegetable the the Iron Man that one I the one I've got is actually d uh, disease tolerant um, so just make sure that you cover it with uh, netting so that the birds don't get to it but I will show you that step when we come to it. Okay, I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.